Particularly on the um, on, on the question of the Virginias, obviously the government has expressed a level of confidence that no matter what, congressional approval is very likely to be granted because there's a strong bipartisan tradition. But we are talking about approval that will be given several years from now. Do you share the government's confidence that that's a bet that can be safely made? Yes, I do. I want to give this commitment to the Australian people today uh, that come hell or high water, the Coalition will support AUKUS. We were the authors of it. We give full credit to the government for continuing the negotiations and arriving at the outcome today. And regardless of the outcome at the next election, uh, if the coalition is successful or not, uh, AUKUS will continue, and it must, uh, because the times demand of it, and we will provide support to the government. Uh, uh, when we're in opposition and when we're in government, we expect the support from the Labor Party as well, and I believe it'll be forthcoming. Uh, I've worked with uh, the Obama administration uh, with the Trump administration and with the Biden administration. And I can tell you in relation to national security matters, it's completely seamless. Uh, the commitment of the Republicans and the Democrats, the Labor Party uh, and the coalition has underpinned the Five Eyes relationship and the alliance between Australia and the United States uh, for decades. And it must into the future. We're a population of 25.8 million people. And we have to, uh, if we're trying to project every scenario over the course of the next century, it's impossible to see in any of those difficult scenarios where you can be a sole trader. You need to have that relationship with a trusted partner in the US and the UK, Canada, New Zealand, India, Japan, many others in the region now as well. Uh, it's, it's very important that those relationships continue. And so I, I do share the government's optimism. Mr.